Has this ever happened to you? Your Hellgate buzzer is going off and it's not connected to a quad and the only way to fix it is to smash it with a hammer. Nope, nope, there isn't. Um, I have always been annoyed about the Hellgate buzzer because unlike buzzers like uh, this is the V-Fly Finder V2, which has an off button. This is the full speed Lucky Box buzzer, which has an off button. But the only way to turn a Hellgate off is to plug in your XT60 and then, like briefly, and then unplug it. And this happens way more often than you would think. I'm just gonna put my finger over that real quick. Oh, that's better. This happens way more often than you would think. I've been at many events like Rotorite Rampage or whatever, where somebody has a Hellgate and for whatever reason, it's going off and they can't. And they unfortunately sometimes end up destroying it, which sucks because this thing is like 25 bucks. So, <laughs> I found out how to disable it. The designers of the Hellgate are not dumb. They built in a way to disable this thing, but they didn't put a button in because they were worried a button might be a failure mode. It might break and then it might not work. And you, so here is how to turn off a Hellgate buzzer if you don't have it hooked up to power. And what you need to do is touch five volts and this buzzer pad at the same time. Five volts and this buzzer pad at the same time and, and bridge them. Now I, I guess I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do this without taking off the heat shrink. No. Okay. Well, we'll just have to reheat shrink it. There we go. Oh, I see. That's not some magical special uh, shortcut or anything. It's just acting as if you've plugged in the five the XT60, but you still have to hold it for three seconds. How long do you freaking? And at this point, I could not get the Hellgate to stop beeping. The reason is that I had accidentally triggered the false alert disarm protection mode. Uh, the idea is that when the battery gets really low, the voltage might be marginal and it might temporarily drop and then come back and drop and then come back. And that you wouldn't want the Hellgate to mistakenly think you had disarmed it. So if the power dr goes away and comes back too quickly, too many times in a row, the Hellgate will just say, okay, screw this. I'm just going to keep beeping till I'm dead. The way to fix it is to power it on for 10 seconds in a row and it'll go back to normal behavior. But I didn't figure out that I had triggered this protection and couldn't figure out how to shut it up. And that's why it's going to be beeping for the rest of this video. Please, police. One to four seconds. One Mississippi. Nope. Well, I'll tell you guys what you can... Here's a suggestion. That's a pretty cool idea I just had. So, make your life a little simpler by... And then, once you've got that soldered on there, you can just do this. In fact, if you wanted to, you could even get a small button and solder in a button if you if you really wanted to if you disagree with the hellgate designers about the need for a five volt however in this case i am going to save myself from this situation <laughs> okay so oh no shut up at least now the damn thing will shut up for time being i don't know why it won't shut up permanently but there you go. So that is how to disable Hellgate buzzer. And if you want to install a wire permanently here, it gives you the option to disable it by adding a button of some kind or just having a spare wire that you can choose to touch. But you just need that to connect to five volts and that's how you disable it. And a little pad right here. Huh. Okay, that's all. Happy flight.